Right, we're standing here on the 17th hole at the Els Club in Dubai. Um, we've got a quite a straightforward shot. It's 172 to the pin, but we're playing into a breeze. Now, Reg, how's this iron designed to perform? Before we get into how we've gone on, you tell me how. Well, it's designed to, to launch the ball higher and spin lower. Obviously, with the higher irons, they uh, have a uh, hollow cavity. Um, which creates um, low center of gravity and they've got V-shaped grooves to create less spin. So you, you should be seeing a higher launch, lower spin shot. Okay, well the big thing is I'll hit a few and let's see how we go on. Perfect. Right, four shots. Three were absolutely bang on. You wouldn't believe I've never had a hole in one before and we were close. <laughs> we were really close. So <laughs> really was, close, yeah. The daft thing is that's probably my worst strike. <laughs> so I'm delighted with the, with the club in the sense of it does launch high. Yeah. A bit scared, to be honest with you, I was a bit scared of it into the wind. Uh, and it didn't it didn't touch the flight at all. Yeah, that's exactly doing what it was designed to, launching high, spinning low, obviously launching high into the wind, not a lot of spin. You saw the ball still flying the, the normal distance it's supposed to do. Now, obviously you mentioned the V grooves on the irons. Yeah. I'd be a bit skeptical on that when we get into my nine irons, my wedges, yes. I don't want that. So are they so, V grooved in the iron? No, the, so oh. the, the eight, nine pitching wedge and sandwich is a uh, U grooves uh, yeah. with normal cavity, not hollow. Uh, normal cavity back irons with um, U-shaped grooves. All the faces obviously also mold to create a bit of um, higher ball speeds off the face. But yeah, lower irons, U-shaped grooves, and longer irons, V-shaped grooves, low spin. So we're getting the launch and we're getting the distance with the longer irons we went, and we're getting the traditional yeah. more grip, more control exactly. with the wedges. Awesome. Perfect. I think the one thing that grabbed me from swinging the club is the shaft, KBS S Taper 130. Yeah. That, that's quite a premium shaft. Is this? Is this is this premium stock or can they just get this off it's, the shelf? It's stock option. Um, obviously we have the 110, 120, 130 for different uh, uh, club speeds. I knew you swing the club a bit faster than the average golfer, so that's why I brought this one for you. Yeah. Um, this is the XS and uh, you get the S, the R, RS. So there's quite a few options and very nice shafts. One of Tim Braley's probably his premium shaft at the moment. I noticed as well, you can adjust the, the lie angle. For me, yes. I'm not that tall, yeah. so I'm normally one degree flat, which is a, a custom fit. But yeah. What's the adjustment on here? So obviously today we brought the custom fitting head and shaft, which is a plus two and minus two. Um, it's a cast um, hosel and we are limited to two degrees uh, upright and, and flat. Final one, lofts. Are you guys doing the traditional thing that everyone else is trying to do at the moment? It's well, the yes. launch high, strong loft. Yeah, so that's so, why we're getting the launch and the less spin. Exactly. So obviously everyone's going with a trend for stronger lofts, yeah. uh, making sure your lofts are strong. So these are yeah, um, a bit stronger than your standard lofts out there with your blades and those kind of things um, but nothing weird from the other manufacturers you know so obviously a bit of strong loft and that's why we want to launch a ball a bit higher and then obviously with the low spin. Yeah we did actually play sort of like a, a hardish ball on these sort of firm greens yeah. and they weren't rolling out because it was the drop and stop. Yeah exactly. Okay, Perfect. Awesome. Okay.